The truth is funny. With Colette Steffen, we'll have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success. Many people who shift out of limiting beliefs roar with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. The truth is funny. Shift happens. Feel instant relief. Stay tuned for more fun and release struggle and suffering. And now, here's your host, Colette Steffen. Colette Steffen. Hi, this is Colette Marie Steffen. You're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network. And I am so pumped today. Um, I'm so happy to connect with you. Uh, I had last week off. Karen, my co-host, was on. I'm sure you all enjoyed her show. I have been super, super, super busy um, getting uh, my programs up. And um, this show normally like is nuggets of wisdom. And I talk about something from my book, but I kind of have had kind of a, a very eventful week. And I didn't really have time to prepare uh, like I normally do for the radio show and get um my pro like my face yoga program started so i uh, i'm i want to um let everyone know i'm i'm totally open to shifting energy today so if you want to call in um right now it's kind of hard to reach me because i'm so busy but um i i have like now we found like i'm so excited <laughs> because um for the face yoga program i've been doing it for 10 days, but, but I, we were late kind of getting it out and everything. And which was fine with me because I want to, um, see what's working. And so the people that are on it are really happy because now we're going to start from day one over again for the people that purchased for a month and they get to start over again. And we're going to have like day one, I think uh, we were going to have it today, but I think we'll have it tomorrow instead. And, um, because with this new system, it has all the features that I can um, do with all my seminars and everything. And so this is huge because this is going to make it easy for people to connect uh, and get on for people that are not really good at computer stuff. And then it's also for me on, on the back end, um, once it's set up, I, I have some, I have better understanding and control of it. So I'm like, yay. <laughs> and um, so you, you may notice that there's a new um, advertisement coming on. We are live on Facebook. I forgot to mention that. Um, we, um, and you're welcome to call into the show 1-800-930-2819. Uh, I'm just pumped because this morning was my test on this um, new platform and, and, and it, it like, okay, we found it <laughs> and it's been voted number one, number one ratings by uh, all the technology companies, et cetera, for supporting all the software that is coming up in 2021, which is really important if you're um, putting an online program out right now and you're, um, you know, there's, there's certain, um, technologies and this is important because this is like the number one weakness that I'm finding for people that I've been connecting with, with my clients. Um, there's a lot of things going on in this last week and it, it, it's kind of easing off a little bit, the energy now, but, um, this traditionally is a challenging week because a lot of college students and university students are typically going into their finals and they would normally go away for some sunshine and that. And a lot of people, um, this is what they call suicide, like, like to, to watch for, you know, like all the, the professors, et cetera, the faculty are on watch for if they notice that someone's getting depressed because it's so much pressure. And um, really the way things are now, there's not that watch, right. As like there was. So a lot of people that I'm connecting with are saying that they feel like that they don't have any, that there's nothing to look forward to. And so I just want to really strengthen everybody like on a general energetic level right now because I've been dealing with a lot of people 
not my clients per se, but a lot of people who have, um, are dealing with people who are really depressed right now and feeling this. And, you know, it's so important for people to recognize that, you know, when they, they have that saying, this too will pass, um, it will because the one thing you can count on for sure is change. That's the only thing, really. So we're going to just strengthen that for everybody, you know, that um, change is always happening anyway. And like on my new website, you'll see like um, I have a, a, a blank canvas there. Like you are a blank canvas. You may as well paint a rainbow. Now the storm is settling a bit. And I'm telling you, I have dealt with a lot of people that uh, deal with disaster. And uh, it's after the storm where you assess the damage. It's the same <laughs> for people who, uh, it happens for women a lot. It's like, oh my God, it's bikini season. <laughs> and they've been sitting on the couch because it's been cold in Canada. It can get really cold here. And so it's all that comfort food. And so, um, you, you know, you go to look in the mirror and you're like, oh, you know, you haven't really been looking. And then you're like, oh, <laughs> I need to, you know, get more fit or whatever. But people don't really. And then like they, people start working out and they've been working out for two days now. <laughs> and they're looking in the mirror and they want to know, is the result there or not? Like, um, do I look better yet? And it's really funny because it took them like you know, a good six months to get into. And in this case, with, uh, with, with uh, the current events that we're under, it is so the underlying stress levels of what's going on are so high that what I'm finding is people are suppressing um, things that happened in their childhood and being in this kind of same place where you're kind of like, you're not in prison, but you call, you like you're in your parents' home <laughs> and it's my way or the highway and you're not allowed to go out and you're not allowed to do this. And so a lot of people are revisiting their rebellious teens right now, not to their benefit. And a lot of people are also um, having what I find like they're facing a lot of childhood traumas. And it's so interesting because it's not like um, childhood trauma, like you would like, like a lot of people like, oh, that person was sexually abused or, you know, something horrible happened in that way. But just everyday life, you know, when you think about it, it's, it's challenging when you think about a baby, you know, and, you know, here it is and it's helpless and, you know, and it's learning so much in that first year. And I feel like what I saw, because I'm, I'm energetically shifting differently from how I used to, uh, I'm getting used to it. I had such a flood of information coming in and I couldn't tabulate um, where <laughs> to categorize the information because I didn't really have um, a way of categorizing it because it was information that I wasn't familiar with. And now I've, I'm, oh, okay. It's just because what's happened basically. And this happens when you work on, uh, when you work with a lot of people and then you go inward and, you know, with the isolation, I've been like really working, working, working a lot. And as you go inward, you start to realize that all of this that's happening outside of you, some of it is in your control in your immediate environment, and, but a lot of it is out of your control. So then what you do have control of is your attitude. And so if, like, I had a computer problem this morning when I was um introducing my big program and I could get all upset and I used to like oh it's gonna be perfect it's gotta be perfect and then I just got calm and went oh and the system actually told me what was wrong and then it actually worked when I fixed it and when I go to do it tonight it's going to work 
And had I gotten all like upset, then um, if I had a bunch of people around me, they'd all be upset. And, you know, that that's kind of basically the premise for my face yoga is for myself. Um, I found it to be so beneficial for me. And when I add my energetic upgrades to it and I start my day off in this balanced way, I am able to produce at a much better rate and without as much effort. And that's what energy work is about is efficiency, uh, efficiency slash effort. And so that's kind of what I'm working on for all of us is to realize we have to realize we are under a lot of anxiety right now. And we can use that chemical reaction in our body and move forward in a strong way by really identifying it and facing it, facing our dragons <laughs> and then letting it go and then asking, okay, what, to, how do I really want to be? So that's what I've been working on in my new program, uh, Baby Steps, coming up. We are, we're going to take a short break. Um, as I said, we are taking callers, 1-800-930-2819. If you're working on a project or you just feel really down or whatever, you want to make a comment, you want some an energetic upgrade, um, call in. And we'll be right back after this short message. Juggling life's relentless demands can leave us unbalanced and restless. Do you feel stuck in the overwhelm? Diane McClay is a personal empowerment coach, author, and compassionate storyteller on a mission to boost you into balance and help you move forward with passion and purpose. Get unstuck with Diane on The Diane McClay Show every second and fourth Friday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more information about Diane, visit DianeMcClay.com. Hi, I'm Trish Laub from A Cup of Comfort, where we talk about care hero topics that nobody wants to talk about. Here's your care hero tip of the day. During all care hero journeys, the need to keep track of a lot of information arises, some of it critical. Possibly the greatest challenge care heroes face is the gathering and organizing of information. Just as every trade has a power tool, whether an electric drill or a laptop, my family's care hero power tool was the three ring binder. We generated a mini library of labeled three ring binders, one for each category of information, complemented with additional spiral notebooks used to detail medical appointments and episodes. This unfussy and convenient system of binders helped my family stay organized and able to deliver the dignified care and end of life my parents desired. Tune into my show to learn more. See you on the second and fourth Tuesday of the month at 12 Pacific here on Transformation Talk Radio. Feel free to reach out to me at info at trishlaub.com. Stuck in a roundabout of dysfunction? Learn how to speak your truth to power with host Dr. Kathy O'Bear. Create real change with smart tools and smart strategies. No frills, no fluff, just life-changing conversations to help get you where you want to be. Extend your reach and become an agent for real change with Kathy O'Bear. For more information on Kathy and her work, please visit drkathyobear.com. That's drkathyobear.com. Hi, I'm Brittany Miles from Miles to Go, How to Lose to Gain It All. I have a mindfulness practice to help you face difficult emotions. It's called RAIN. Developed by Tara Brock, the letters mean the following. R, recognize what's happening to you. A, allow the situation to be as it is. I, investigate feelings with interest and care and nurture yourself with self-compassion. So you see, rain isn't so bad after all. Tune into my show to learn more. See you on the second and fourth Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, here on Transformation Talk Radio. Feel free to reach out to me at milestogocoaching.com. That's miles, the number two, gocoaching.com.
Wow. <laughs> this is Colette Marie Steffen. You're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network. We're taking callers. Feel free to call in 1-800-930-2819 if you would like an energetic upgrade. And we're also live on Facebook right now. And so I'm talking about all the, I was doing a general energetic upgrade for people who are listening now and listening later to be a little bit more balanced in um, these <laughs> very shifty times. And I was thinking back to last year at this time, because like I had just finished doing the keynotes at like Illuminate. And then I did one more. I think there was one more in March the beginning of March, was it possible March 8th or something that we did a, a, a booth and then uh, shut down. So it's been a year like that on April 1st that I decided, oh, I'm going to take this face yoga. And I was two days into the course and I realized um, this is exactly the information I need to finish the final part of call to dance program, which is more about anatomy because I was really starting to understand the systems of the body better. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's really exciting for me. And I like also um, with the be irresistible face yoga, I have two programs going now. And I'm like, that was a thought on April 1st last year. And I started on May 1st and I became a certified instructor at the end of um, October 26th or something, or uh, yeah. And I finally managed to get um, the, 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 um, all of the, lim the restrictions against having a photographer come here because of COVID. Um, my, uh, we finally got a photographer here for the, uh, I think that was on November 11th, she sent me the pictures. So the progression of, um, getting a website up and integrating all the information and then finding the programs that work and the platforms and making sure that the technologies, because they're changing very rapidly right now. And quite frankly, a lot of them are way better. So it like, and, and it's kind of like, um, I think that people more and more people now are using the technology because of this. And I think technology companies are becoming more sensitive that when, you know, regular everyday people are using these programs that it would be beneficial to use languaging that doesn't require someone to be able to understand a computer to be able to understand what they're saying. And so this is like, I, I feel like this is a huge opportunity for humanity at this time to become better communicators with more people. And the, what we use is our face to communicate that. So that I found that when I take that time to get centered in the morning and that, and I've had so much fun with it because I have the morning program is face your day with a splash and I'm slowly integrating into it. And, um, but I'm going to, you know, I, I, I'm having so much fun with it. And then I um, had a wonderful client from Paris sent me this beautiful all the way from Paris <laughs> for my pillow talk um, uh, face yoga. Uh, and then I was my very good friend, um, Deb, she was like, uh, I was saying like, I, I was late advertising and that I don't even know if I'm going to have any audience. And she said to me, so she made sure she took me out for lunch and she sent me um, men in kilts calendar. <laughs> so Mr. February uh, was there for Valentine's day, singles awareness day. And then Mr. January had to fill in <laughs> now, Mr. Sep now, Mr. Mr. February is back <laughs> for tonight. <laughs> so we always have an audience. I'm having fun with it and we're starting to see a lot of results. And what's been very, very cool is people are getting a good night's sleep. People that are like, stressed out so I've been working on um, an energetic upgrade sort of in the morning to get people centered and focused on what they want to accomplish for their day and then feel good when you feel good you know like when you look good you feel good when you feel good you look good and so looking good is a business decision you go out there and you perform at your best when you feel good like that 
And then at night, a lot of people are telling me that they're having a very hard time sleeping. Um, that's never bothered me much. I've never slept much in general anyway, but hey, <laughs> um, I can energetically, I have, you know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of that is just due to um, people having a very active subconscious and unconscious mind. And then especially when we're, and so this is a general energetic shift for everybody again, when we are in um, a situation where we are under a lot of outside external force stress, um, that plays a big role on our ability at night to, to like go to sleep and not be in this um, base chakra. And that's in your face here in that state of survival and your body can feel it and it, it sits there and it gets very tight. And that's why a lot of people have a lot of jaw issues and, so I use, uh, I was, I'm fascinated just like, I mean, just by the benefits of taking the time for yourself to um, put yourself in that state is huge uh, and go in your day and just say, because so many moms have said to me, you know, I, I never, I, I, I don't take time for myself and I know what that's like. And, and I know what it's like. It's really challenging some days, but if you take that little bit of time for yourself and you center yourself before you have to go out there, it generally is going to make your performance better all the way around. And you need to remember that um, the children in your home are the, that are under the age of 10 in particular, and really, really with babies. And this also includes your pets. They um, kind of act out for you what you're suppressing from the day. So if, and like then a lot of a moms go, no, that makes me so sad. And I'm like, no, like that's where we need to get neutral because it's just data. Like if you look at it from that perspective, if you really want to improve your future, you know, when all the gurus and everybody are saying, you know, go inward. Well, what does that really mean? Like if, you know, if, if you're floundering and you're, you're out there in the ocean and you can't, I can't swim, I can't breathe. And, and someone says to you, go inward. <laughs> you're like, you're probably going to drown because <laughs> going inward means like basically asking yourself, like checking in with yourself. What does this mean? And so uh, I'm, I'm, a lot of people are telling me that um, they don't feel like there's something to look forward to. A lot of the senior citizens are telling uh, pe their, their families this, that, you know, they're just so lonely and they, they need to be touched. And so... Um, what we want to do is we want to just recognize what the problem really is. And then, cause that's what it's coming up with is just that people are in fear. And so when people are in fear, that jaw tends to clench all night. And then when you wake, and then a lot of people wake up with a really bad headache in here. And so I'm really focusing in, um, in my classes to ease that, um, that to let go of that fear before you go to sleep and to get into a really good state so that as your subconscious and your unconscious mind are working throughout the night, that you really do get a good rest and that you are in a state of appreciation for what's happened throughout your day rather than in a state of fear. Uh, like when you're in a state of appreciation, that means that you're going to be more open hearted and you're going to be um, more of um, have the ability to set out like a, a different, um, I would say a vibration or a it's coming up for some people. It's a vibration for some people, a uh, resonance. And it's just kind of like an ability to be that eye of the storm. And like if you're a mom, you know, just taking that minute to breathe you know, and just run the energy so that you can be calm before you address what's going on around you and really assess what's, what's really happening here. 
And so that's the benefit of, for me, of the energy work is that it teaches you that, you know, when people say that you're creating your reality, you are to a certain extent, you're co-creating your reality with other people. And so, yes, you are the person that's number one going to be doing that. This is your reality. And at the same time, other, you know, if you, if you consider your reality, the theater, other actors are going to come on stage and, you know, you have an audience, etc. So those factors are going to influence what happens inside here and what you project. And that's what I want to, that's what I've been really um, working on with my clients right now, because so many people are in fear. So when we come back, I'm just reminding you, if anyone wants to call in 1-800-930-2819 and, you know, like if you're wanting to build something, you're wanting to move forward, you're wanting to ease your fears, you're wanting your children to sleep better at night, whatever it is, um, let's shift it. (laughs) We'll be right back. Did you know that when we talk about the Earth's ecosystems, the most important ecosystem has been left out? You, we created the ecosystem approach to recapture human potential. Find us at theecosystemapproach.org. Join us every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time for the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Mind to Heart with me, Craig Richardson, carves a pathway from your mind to your heart to activate that innate compass to overcome whatever life sends your way. As an intuitive life coach, I am ready to guide you to an amazing life. Tune in live every second and fourth Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more information about me, visit CraigERichardson.com. When you lose a child, you find yourself part of a club that you never chose to join. There is a way to find meaning and joy in your life again. Jen Ripa has created a six-week sacred grief system, helping you let go of grief, heal with compassion, and understand what's available to you in the rest of your life. It can feel scary acknowledging that a part of you wants to move forward because you're not sure how to do it in a way that honors your child. The good news is that when you allow yourself to address your grief in a multi-sensory way, you can transition from sadness, regret, and hopelessness into a life that gives you peace, joy, and meaning. Jennifer understands with deep compassion how you're feeling because she's been there. For more information about the Sacred Grief Course, visit Thriveology.com. That's T-H-R-I-V-O-L-O-G-I-E dot com. Are you ready to let go of the I can'ts that are holding you down? Valerie Trujillo invites you to join her community on a mission to collectively heal as a tribe, where your vulnerability is heard and reciprocated. So tune in to Love and Light with the Crystal Blue Oracle every second and fourth Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more information about Valerie and her work, visit CrystalBlueOracle.com. The Angel Lady. 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 The Angel One eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero. One eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero. Sue Storm. Sue Storm. The Angel Lady. Dot net. Hi, this is Colette Marie Steffen, and you're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network. And uh, we're also live on Facebook. Uh, I just wanted to say um, I haven't been on, on social media much because I've been really busy moving things around. And I had um, a, a 
a Facebook page for Energetic Upgrade. I had a Facebook page for uh, Be Irresistible. And I had a Facebook page also for Tales. And now, yay, that I have uh, one, they're all on the one website. Um, there, those, those other uh, accounts are going to be closed down. And those will all, everything's going to go to the truth is funny now. And um, I, there was a lot of old social media and stuff. Like when you've been in the business, like for out there for like 12 years, like I have. So um, I'm going to start getting back on social media and that more um, once I get this, this, my um, baby steps up, which will be up on March 11th. And I'm so pumped. It's taken me a little bit longer to get the landing page up for Energetic Upgrade because just as I had it done, I had this brilliant idea of how to do it so that it would be more fun and it would be better. And now this platform is going to allow that. So you'll see um, ads coming out for that uh, probably in the next two or three days and the landing page will be there. And uh, the baby steps, I'm, uh, we're extending the, if you buy, a, um, you can buy an individual uh, face yoga session, drop in like um, um, in the morning or the evening, and you can get um, a friend and bring a friend for free. They just have to sign up through it. The process is way easier now, and you can do it individual, weekly, monthly, and annually. So that's following me on my journey there. So that's two programs that are up at six o'clock a.m. Pacific time and nine o'clock p.m. Um, in the evening Pacific time. And Baby Steps is my first energetic upgrade. It's my darling. <laughs> I'm so excited. Wait till you see its new look. <laughs> and um, this program is going to be phenomenal because in 30 days, just doing it for like 15 to 30 minutes a day. I'm confident that by the end of the month, because if you, if it's done on a regular basis, kind of like the face yoga and set up that way that people will really start to understand it because they'll start to be using it more automatically and then they'll start to feel it more. And that's, um, uh, the big secret with energy work is um, feeling, feeling, feeling. And most people are thinking, thinking, thinking like the hamster on the wheel. So we just really want to, um, uh, with the baby steps that's coming out, uh, the very first one will be on March 11th. And um, eventually it'll be a program that you can just go on to and be... Um, just go on any day and start any day and it'll be day one. Like it's not Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's day one, day two, day three. But I want to babysit this program for probably about three or four months. And then uh, when the official modern day Dragon Sayer program comes out on in September, then I will be confident that I can just put this one on its loop and I will have um, my lectures in place and I'll have my Facebook group up. And huh. and that was all just the thought that I had back around April 1st. I remember I committed to it because I thought, you know, in the tarot, um, the fool is actually the young man that jumps off the cliff into the unknown, into the abyss <laughs> with total confidence <laughs> Like, oh, what could happen? And so a lot of shift can happen. That's what can happen. Having said that, that's where we are. I really feel it. I feel like we as humanity are there. And this is very challenging. A lot of people have been um, crying a lot. And that is um, because I feel what's going on. Like with my clients, um, what's going on is people either laugh when they're really letting go of something that's got a lot of layers attached to it and, or they cry and that crying is like, a it's a release, but it's a sentimental grabbing on almost to the old person 
that you were, the old lifestyle we had. And so for many people, and it, it, it's been kind of more subtle, but for someone like me, it's been really like, boom, abrupt because um, I love my work and I work a lot. And then all of a sudden, hey, <laughs> you're not allowed to do live events. Um, I noticed right away and my bank account noticed right away. And so, you know, this is like for a lot of small businesses, a lot of people had put a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy into their businesses and they just haven't been able to sustain them through this time. And so it requires what people would think it requires, um, (coughs) excuse me, the grief from that. So what I've been sharing with people is if you can see me here, um, just tap on your sternum here. <coughs> I um, Last night I was doing the face yoga and we were clearing a lot of this tension <coughs> and the fluid from the forehead, the stress, and it was coming down. And today, when I woke up this morning, my whole, my eyes were swollen and everything. And it was kind of like I had a backload of grief, but I was babysitting and I say babysitting energetically. I had um, a a couple of very young children that uh, were, were in a lot of pain, like really feeling sick. And one in particular was in a lot of pain, like to, you know, like when you have that fever and your bones ache pain. And so I was like sort of energetically tuning into him on a regular basis. So his mother could get some sleep. And then I think it was about two days later, she did, she got back to me and said, like, we did a session on him and he did talk to me. His whole mouth was just so inflamed. And, uh, but he, he spoke to me. And um, then he later that night, he slept (coughs) and he drank a bottle of milk for the first time in eight days. And so um, it's kind of that's what I was talking about, the subconscious and unconscious mind. And so what's happening, it's kind of like one way I could explain it, maybe, is if there's a big fire in the area, like we get here sometimes, and you can smell the smoke and you can feel it and the animals are running and, you know, you can, you can see they are. And then, and so you, your body is going, Hey, there's smoke. You know, you should be careful. There's smoke and you're kind of carrying on like normal. So your body's going, no, no, no. I like there's smoke. (laughs) You need to be alarmed here. And so, the smell of the smoke or brings in a lot of other times when, you know, when someone was told little, you have to be careful with fire, fire can hurt you. You can get burned and it's necessary to teach children that, but at the same time um, it can bring up a lot of subconscious memories. If they go into sleep in a worry of like fire or something. And so for a lot of adults, What's happening is there's financial concerns and there's like um, change. And this is something that's very fundamental that people don't understand is it does not matter if the change is for the better or for the worse. Um, If there's a lot of change, I mean, of course, change for the better is really, really pleasant compared to change for the worse. But fundamentally the chemical reaction in the body is the same. It's a, it's a reaction of kind of stress and excitement and depending on what you label it. And that's why I say uh, if you're going to turn something into an, like if you have an experience and you label it and you say, well, this is a good experience. And what if when you were a little child, you had an experience that was not really a good experience, but you were told it was a good experience. And so now you, all your life, you thought, oh, that's a good experience. And then, so that's, that's how the mind works. And so then for the rest of your life, you label that with good. What if that is actually 
not a good experience or it's a good experience, but you could have a much better experience. And so um, this is kind of what I am been working on for people because I feel like we are kind of sitting here and it's kind of like the pendulum has been going like this. And I feel like we sort of swung (laughs) and we're like this. And now it's almost like we're coming out of it and we're going to have to start producing again. We're going to have to start um, reinventing ourselves And I would like to talk about when we come back about how we can do that in a strong way, because if you're going to create a new future, you may as well go forward in as strong a way as possible. So we'll be right back. 1-800-930-2819 if you would like to make some shift happen. The Dr. Pat Show. The Dr. Pat Show. The Dr. Pat Show. This is it. The energy of heart to heart, mind to mind, love to love. These are the questions that people have and rarely state. When we have an internal transformation and we see things differently, what does it mean to step into the full nature of being a spiritual being? How am I to be? This is it. Every day, you have to do something outrageously positive. It is so absolutely relevant because what I've seen in humanity, despite what's in the headlines, I'm so struck by the heroes that have come forward. I'm I'm just absolutely in awe. The idea generators and superheroes. All of you, you are the best listening audience in the world, and we are bringing it in 2021. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. It's your turn to reclaim your life. Experience the unmitigated joy of breathing life into your own passions, into your own purpose. With me, Life Coach Ricky Schwartz at MyTurnLifeCoaching.com. In the meantime, tune into my show, My Turn Life Coaching, live every second and fourth Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hi, this is Colette Marie Stephan. You're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network. We are um, here Wednesday mornings, 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. And we've been under a huge transition, transformation ourselves here. Uh, The new website's up, uh, working with social media now, changing a bunch of, like getting it all, everything onto The Truth is Funny where it belongs now. And also I have Karen as my co-host this year and also a new um, co-host, Caleb, and I'm so happy about that. Um, Both of them are wonderful people, and it just feels good to see things coming along. And then my team surprised me with three new ads and some music and for my face yoga programs. And it's just been like, (laughs) I'm so excited today. (laughs) Like, it just feels like, oh, like, when you have a thought like a year before and it seems like, Oh, this is like so impossible. And then you just say, no, I'm going to um, take one step at a time. So what that requires though, is it requires you to really be coming from your heart and to love doing what you're doing. You know, like it took me, a a good month and a half to find a professional color inner for my pictures (laughs) because the baby steps program that's coming up, that is the homework is coloring in pictures. (laughs) 
my drawings about this stuff. And um, I found um, the perfect color in her. She's only seven. <laughs> she's a very good entrepreneur. <laughs> and she's doing such a beautiful job. And um, I was so happy. Like, she just loves doing them for me. And I'm, you know, it, it's, it's, she's pouring this beautiful childlike innocence into into those draw like the magic of it you know the magic of um being able to create and and to build things and so that's what i'm really excited about doing now because i feel like it was always my goal to share the information from baby steps and the psychosomatics is um uh, like my my um training as a psycho uh, certified psychosomatic teacher and then the information about the sacred geometry and the, the, the quantum physics behind it that I learned when I um, be- became an emissary of the Resonance Project Foundation. Those are all components, um, you know, that I've brought together into this program, which is like coloring in pictures, <laughs> just my kind of homework. <laughs> and we don't care if you color outside the lines. so. <laughs> but my color in her, she's professional and she does. <laughs> and so it's just so much fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it, um, doing it more the way I want to. And now I feel like uh, a lot of the European people that I haven't been able to connect with um, that, you know, we can reconnect and I want to get some um, community happening and, you know, down at the bottom left corner of my website, you'll notice I've got Charlotte's corner uh, if anyone knows anything about a wildlife sanctuary, sanctuary being built here in Kelowna, um, for instance, things like that, I'm totally 100% happy to share any information regarding that. And I've got a few projects going there. Uh, I love working with people that want to build stuff. And what I'm, I know, like, it's really challenging. It's very challenging. I wrote a book about that. Um, you know, challenges are just possibilities in disguise. <laughs> And problems are just, uh, if you break them down into smaller pieces and and then take those little pieces and do what you can in that moment to improve your situation and make it better, then any situation can be made better. It may not be made perfect. And the possibilities or the challenges and the possibilities that are in front of you are not necessarily the ones that you would have chosen. I certainly (laughs) didn't think back in January and February of last year. Oh, this is great. (laughs) This is wonderful. (laughs) I love this. No, it's more like, um, but now I can say, this is great. This is wonderful. I love it. And, you know, like that, that in the tarot, as I said, the journeyman, is walking off the cliff into the abyss of the unknown, which is a very Aquarian energy that we're entering into now. I feel like um, a lot of us, because this has been a very challenging week for a lot of people, a lot of people in business are just tired. They're saying, I'm tired, I'm tired. And I'm like, do not give up now. This is not the time to give up. Everybody's tired. Um, that's why like my team at like here on this radio show, these people have been working every day and I've been working every day and, um, you know, everybody's not always at their best every day because we're all dealing with a lot internally and also externally. And, but to label that good or bad is not going to benefit us at this time. Of course, there's certain things that you can clearly say now that is not good behavior, you know, um, like when someone's being beaten or something horrible is happening. But, uh, you know, if you see that and you don't do anything about it in your neighborhood or in your house, you know, that's a horrible thing. But now we need to extend that to the entire world and then the entire universe. And as people start to expand that, because I've had the the very, very vast, it's a huge pleasure to be able to connect with so many people around the world. And I, I, my finding is that most people, and I mean the vast majority of people 
have big hearts. They're good people. They want, most people want, like most mothers on this planet, they want their children to be happy. They want, they want, they want healthy children. They want um, good education and all of that, not just mothers, mothers and fathers. And so fundamentally, most of the people I meet, and I meet all sorts of people from all sorts of cultures. And, you know, um, every time I meet someone, I learn from them. Like, I have never thought, I find it a, a kind of fascinating how people from other countries who um, have a, an accent are always like, oh, I hope my English is okay. And I'm like, no, it's sexy. Like, go for it, you know? Um, so some of the things that you label one way could end up being like you could call something bad, but if, if if you had this job over here and you were raised in that family, that might be like a really good quality to have. And so that's kind of what, um, I'm, you know, when you're, we're, I feel like we're coming out of like, it's kind of like there's a tornado that's gone through and it's been a, and then a tsunami hit and it's been rough. And um, so it's really important to kind of assess where you are now and recognize that, you know, maybe if you would have gone forward, maybe with some plans like from a year ago and now like with this big shift that your situation would have, you would have been in a more challenging or not a more challenging place, but a, a less challenging place where it would just be done and you would be moving into a different way of being. And so it's important to understand that if you are a person right now that is still doing what you were doing, you probably are going to have to make changes in how you do it. And if you're a person that kind of had the rug pulled up from underneath you in a bazillion ways, then you need to assess who you are and where you are now so that you can make a strong, like in a from a balanced place, like not in the storm, because I feel like we're kind of like, oh, okay, I think, you know, it might be okay to go out now. But then going out there is like, whoa, look at the damage that's been done. Like, how are we going to rebuild this? And so at that point where it, now we're rebuilding, it's important to rebuild in a strong way. Um, Olivia, where are we at? We've got just about three minutes here. Olivia? <laughs> Yeah, we've got just about three minutes oh, here. three minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. All right. So um, I'm in this place of uh, energetically shifting, and we've got two minutes left. And I've been having – I'm just going to check here. There we go. And uh, so I'm going to end the, um, the radio show with this thought for everybody is moving forward in the future right now. If you're having a challenging day, then um, – just go, just take the time to breathe and just check and see if your body is going into um, high chemical reaction and just take a few, three deep breaths through your nose and out through your nose and calm your systems down and then check in. Um, and so everyone um, stay strong out there and have a wonderful day. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Bye for now. See the truth is funny with Colette Stefan. will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the higher self network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success. Many people who shift out of limiting beliefs roar with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. The truth is funny. Shift happens. Feel instant relief. Stay tuned for more fun and release struggle and suffering. And now, here's your host, Colette Stefan. Views expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers and do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its management, or advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio.